How you doing, Miss Nicole? I hope. Um, today we're really gonna talk about our blog, the um, Big Pastor Jones, and I see like the role she played during the movie, and then kind of we'll tie back into what we've been talking about. We're trying to tie it back to what we've been talking about um, in the class, like the role of women, and basically like the movie Cleo Patrick Jones. She was a real, you know, she was a real power figure. You know, she had a lot of power. She worked for the government. She played a high role. She was badass. She she did a lot of the fighting. You see some of the roles that you see a lot of men doing in the movies today, and it ties into what we were talking about because back then women. You know, women was never seen as a power figure. They were really never seen as somebody who gave them more power. Like that. They was probably never thought about a woman could even do any of that stuff. Fight, shoot, shoot a gun, hold those power positions, or doing something of an officer in the uh, special forces. So it um, you know, ties a lot back into her being being black, first of all, her being a female, and then how her. I was having to help with a lot of black men and having a lot of respect from a lot of black men. You know, it took her a long way to get her job and it um, you know, so helped her be able to do all the stuff she could do, find all the stuff she could find. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's kind of how I tied it back into it. One thing I like to say about Miss Nicole is um, I never noticed how much men respect her. And I feel like this is one of the first films that we watch where men actually respect the woman. I mean, it was some comments where they talked about her beauty, but they never discredited her. And um, that was a, a real important thing to me. And they also, they also respected her um, on a level where they trusted her with, with important things, with, with jobs, with certain things that she could do on her own. And um, it was just a different way to see women. Another thing we want to talk about is coffee. And how um, coffee was I mean, almost negative in some ways. Uh, when you watch Cleopatra and you compare it to um, coffee, was uh, um, more of a, a feminine, feminine woman. She uh, she didn't have the same characters as Cleopatra, and uh, throughout the movie, she was I mean discriminated against sexually, and she also uh, was a uh, Seen as more attractive and more for her sexuality more than for her brains and for her wit, which uh, I mean she used that a lot. But I mean she really used her sexuality more than anything. In the movie, you know, she realized that you know the way she looked and the way her body looked, she can use that to her advantage. She can take over a lot of people's minds and she can manipulate people because of her sex appeal. So you know, we kind of I know we was talking about some stuff like that in class. So. Yeah, was, you know, she really wasn't respected because it seemed like in the movie she really wasn't the smartest or the brightest, but she knew how to win a man over and she knew how to get a man or get a, anybody really to tell her what she wanted or like anything that she needed to do. She can, she can make them do it because of the way she looked and the way she carried herself and like the, you know, so her sex appeal, like I said, so. Yeah, um, she was a sapphire. They both were sapphire figures, kind of like the reading you had with Davis. I can't remember her first name, but um, they all were sapphire figures, and they all carried the image of, of the fro and uh, a revolutionary. So I mean, it was it was powerful for some people, and and in other ways it was, I mean, just great to some people and some and women all over. But man, I felt like it was a positive reaction. That is it, Ms. Nicole, and I blog.